New Tech is the creator of the TriCaster. You've heard me talk about this on the air as we travel the world in various remote broadcasts and big trade shows around the world. And when you see the videos of our interviews and the products and the behind the scenes things at all these shows, IFA Berlin, SeaTech Japan, CES, of course, those of you watching even our video podcast, you know what I'm talking about. It's all brought to you by our friends from New Tech. The Senior VP of Strategic Development from New Tech is Philip Nelson. Philip, welcome back into tomorrow. How are you doing? I am doing great, and I'm so excited and honored to be here with you today. We've seen you, of course, a year ago at CES where we were using your product and had such great response from, first and most important, our audience that says, you know what, it's great. To, I love listening to you on the radio, whether it's XM or one of our 120-plus uh, AM and FM stations around the world, our shortwave of stations various and sundry online sources. The important thing is folks know that it's neat to be able to come and see behind the scenes now. Look at the people that we're interviewing. See the products we're talking about. And you guys have made it the easiest to do of any other products we've tried to use over the years. And we thank you for it because it's really cool. You guys built a TV production truck in a box. You know, it's, it's been a whirlwind year since we last met here at CES. And, you know, we are excited with the way that you, you guys have trotted the globe, yes. carrying TriCaster <laughs> everywhere, showing it to people. And, and, you know, this a lot of things have happened since we last talked. Uh, we've seen a lot of excitement from the sports market. One of the things that's happened is, you know, fans can't get enough of their favorite sport. That's for sure, you know, ever. <laughs> I think Beth would do anything to go to a NASCAR event, right? No. Yes, um, no matter what. And she was the impetus to get us to the NASCAR car event uh, the last one in Homestead and uh, we did the broadcast from there first time in 13 years we broadcast from the NASCAR Speedway and it was fun it she had fun. a blast and of course she had no problem working that remote broadcast everybody <laughs> volunteers for the sports projects yeah. but what's happened is this the teams want to give fans more access the networks want to give fans more access to their favorite sports and also sponsors want to sponsor more stuff so, you know, what's happened in the last year, we worked with Fox Sports, and we did uh, batting practice from the Major League Baseball All-Star Game. Oh, cool. So fans don't get to go to batting practice. They don't, don't get to go see Barry Bonds going in there and knock him out of the park during batting practice. And so they set up cameras, and we did a live webcast um, with Fox Sports, which led us to do the World Series with Fox Sports, and it's just been a whirlwind year. And what a great way to enjoin your fans. I mean, in this case, it's a classic example of letting people see, again, that behind-the-scenes stuff, stuff they wouldn't otherwise see unless they were at the ballpark early with binoculars. Right, exactly. <laughs> and those fans that would sit there at the ballpark with binoculars are the ones that are that are watching it on the web yeah. and calling all their friends. And, and it just really is, a, is an exciting time because, you know, TriCaster, we tried to make it portable, easy to use, and affordable. But, uh, you know, we've seen it implemented into places where budget is no problem. Sure. But it is the best product for them. But we've also seen it go to nine-year-olds that want to help kids on the Internet with their homework. So it's been a pretty exciting year for us. One of mine, you know, I always joke that, you know, one of my goals of working at New Tech is to meet all the people I want to meet that are cool, you know. That's, and then I try to sell stuff in the middle of that. But, yeah. um, you know, we did a project with Fox, the, the NFL Summit. Before the football season starts each year, they all come to the News Corp building in New York. They sit around a table and talk about who their favorite teams are, who they think is going to be good. We did the stream. Fans can't go to that. So we're there with Howie Long, uh, Troy Aikman, Barry Switzer, Jimmy Johnson, and we're streaming it with TriCaster. And it was like a dream come true for me. I got to meet Howie Long, one of my all-time favorite Raiders. Very cool. And, of course, the important thing for all the fans is now they get to see this Exactly. Stuff. Behind the velvet rope access is yeah. here, and it's live. And that's what makes it cool is it's live just like you guys are doing here. Yeah. It's the excitement of being at C CES. You you get the buzz of the show, and now your fans on the Internet can enjoy that with you. Sure, and, and our listeners tell us on a regular basis, and by the way, I'm going to ask Andres to pull back and reveal the TriCaster Pro here that we're using and the switcher and all of the goodies, uh, and he'll cut to that momentarily because we've got three cameras, and it's so easy. You can connect three cameras and other sources and do some great things with graphics and all sorts of stuff. Our little ITTV bug is easy easily placed on all the interviews and so forth. You do make it easy to accomplish. So here as Andres is showing, and again, if you're listening to us, of course you're listening to us on the radio or your favorite podcast, satellite channel, or otherwise, know you can come by the site and see the videos of our interviews and look at the products and see the behind-the-scenes stuff in our broadcast booth. But now Andres is showing you how the TriCaster is actually working. You can see the three cameras. You can see our audio. You can see how easy it is. It's got all sorts of neat equipment. This switcher that he's about to show you as well. If he, and he's right on top of it, but look at that. You can see it, how it lights up. And look, we even have a 
fading control. Oh, look at that. I'm fading. One went to our overhead, our helicopter shot, and then back <laughs> again to the TriCaster. The point that I'm trying to make to our audience is you don't have to be a TV broadcaster, a mm -hmm. TV station. You don't have to be a production outfit to take advantage of this sort of thing. A lot of our listeners responded and saying, that sounds like it's great for my church exactly. or for the school or for the ability to just help the kids learn more about whatever they're doing and just get more involved in stuff. This is how you do it. You know, kids are all, everybody that is at this show or has kids, they're all TV experts these days. You know, everybody was raised watching television, and they know what good TV looks like. And so what we want to do is allow kids to get excited about making their own television. You know, I mentioned the little girl that's nine years old. I get a call. This is a great story, and I'll make it fast. I get a call. This little girl, she's a nine-year-old kid from Seattle. And she goes, I think I want a TriCaster. Will you give me one? Oh, and you're and, thinking, sure, we thinking, hand okay, them out all the time. Yeah, <laughs> kid, I'll send you a TriCaster. Well, it turns out she's a child prodigy. Her name's Adoris Vitak. She's been on Oprah. She's been on CNN. She types 120 words a minute at wow. nine years old. She's got a book on Amazon.com. And Verizon actually sponsors her as a, uh, uh, an ambassador for literacy. And now she has a TriCaster doing a homework help show. Where she's helping kids write creative writing stories on the Internet. Well, that's why you handle strategic development, because you, in the long run, know that this is what to do. It's exciting. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's fun. You're making it happen. Newtech.com for more information. What's around? the corner for you guys what else can we expect uh, we already have TriCaster Pro you got HD stuff happening you got other things going on what are you working on that you can tease us with I can't tell you what we're working on but I will tell you I think we need to get you the new TriCaster so you need to add virtual sets to into tomorrow Ooh. so you can broadcast from tomorrow so. yeah oh there you go so we put a little green screen behind me that's next right. time and then we're showing you various scenes of the show floor and I'm just sitting in our broadcast booth that's right that's what we need to <laughs> do it. that's what's next Philip will work on that thank you so much Dave thanks for having me Philip Nelson senior vice president strategic development from new tech you got to check it out especially if you think there's any opportunity for your company imagine doing your own industrial videos promoting your products and things like that they make it so easy you just check them out new tech N-E-W-T-E-K dot com for more. Of course, we'll link you at our website. And come and see the videos of Philip's interview and all of the guests from CES. I'm Dave Graveline bringing you further into tomorrow right here on the Advanced Media Network.